Welcome back for another video and today we're going to be doing another hunt recap and this one is from very early in the season. I think this is actually my first big duck hunt in Kansas so um, got to go out with my buddy Cole. Uh, he owns F5 Outfitters and before he starts doing his guide service stuff we played a little bit in the early season before he had clients so this was a lot of fun and um, this was the first mallards of the season. This was kind of like right after that big cold front came through in October and uh it made the hunting pretty good so i enjoyed this hunt a lot it was a lot of fun i think it was my first hunt with a shot cam as well so um i'm excited to dive into this one i haven't watched this video since i released it so or actually editing it so i'm, I'm pretty stoked to take a look at this so if you guys are interested in helping support the channel, go over to the Outdoor Limits podcast. It's on uh, Apple and Spotify and probably some other places where you listen to podcasts. So be sure to go over to the Outdoor Limits podcast and give it a listen and uh, go join the Facebook group over there. And if you want to go even further, go over to my website, OutdoorLimitsShop.com. Got some new t-shirts I just launched. They're pretty sweet. They got American flag with uh, duck calls on it. I'll leave a picture up here for you guys to take a look at. But sweet shirts. Make sure to go check those out if you're interested. And the, these Bottomland hats, I only have a few left. They're not going to be coming back. So if you want one, now's your time. Get them before they're gone. So let's go ahead and dive on in here and take a look at this video. I think the last time I checked in for a video, I was not happy with how things were going. And it was 60 degrees, 70 degrees and sunny. You guys can't see my breath, but I can. It's cold this morning and I'm over here with Cole once again. Actually, Cole was in the last video I posted for a hunting video, so we're gonna go try out a little public land spot. We got decoys in the bed of the truck, two sleds, and uh, we'll just have to see how this goes, but we gotta get to moving. I'll check back in with you guys when we get everything all set up. I miss the uh, the crisp air in the morning, guys, and like just walking, it's the smell of the marsh. I'm really looking forward to that um, this come, coming September, man. That's like the biggest thing for me is the smell of the marsh. We're getting the decoys set up. And uh, I don't know how many we brought. I brought some of my decoys. Cole brought some of his decoys. So we had a pretty decent sized spread. So yeah. Working on getting the decoys set right now. We're trying to uh, put the decoys out a little farther because these birds have been kind of pressured recently. So putting them out a little farther than the levee so then uh, they feel a little more comfortable. But Here's a tip for you like, guys. If you're hunting really uh, pressured areas, decoys, push your decoys out a little bit farther because uh, a lot of people throw them right next to the bank plus. and uh, being able to push them out just a little bit farther might give you a little bit of a better finish with those birds. And there's ice. There is definitely ice. I'm gonna go grab those other decoys. Okay. Check this out. I've never seen ice like this in October. It was cold in October. We found an open pool. That whole marsh is pretty much locked up. The ice kind of concentrates the birds. Having a pool that's already open, not having to bust ice. I forgot about that. It's always nice. Let's see here. Let's see if you guys see this. Oh, the ice. That is like, ice. What are we that thick is That's not too thick. Huh. Ain't nothing. So we were kind of in a rush to get set up that morning. So basically got the decoys set well, and sat down. down to uh, start hunting. And it was shooting Been light. a little bit of a race this morning. And uh, Kill it. I don't see it. Oh. That's a dead bird. I was, I was talking to the camera. What? I was talking to the camera. I know you were, but I was gonna kill it. Sorry. Hey, that's fine. Dead bird. Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down and start hunting. Yeah, we had quite a few decoys out. Oh, you got a spoony? <laughs> Up top. Up top. This is sweet. I did not expect to see mallards work in like this. I think Cole's making those calls with his mouth. Good bird. 
And they circled over top for more. We are beating them up, John! Mallards, bro! Woo! That was a pretty finish, was it not? That was. You know, I was just staring. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Oh, green, baby! That, that was a fin. That was sweet. Oh, shot cam. Here we go. I love the shot cam. I almost went three for three. I was just a hair, like, off on that one. So close. Did you shoot, uh, so I shot... Right when they came down, I waited till they separated right here and started picking because we would have waylaid the group. Dude, there was one single that came down real low. I shot that one, looked straight up, and shot another one. Dude, just... And I had a third one, and it ate the babies. Oh, nice. Um, oh, when we shot, did you get the did you get the finish on camera? Oh yeah. Oh gosh, that was the best one out here lately. Sweet. Let's keep going. I was just in awe, honestly. Dude, they, I hit that Drake whistle and they just ate it. That was the first mallards I've shot this year. Awesome. That was a great Oh my gosh, I, the second I put the camera down, mallards come in, baby. We got two mallards, one drake, one hand. Oh, this gets yeah. me excited, guys. guys. I don't, I don't know about you. I'm right dancing now. on pins and needles waiting for season to get here. I, uh, I did a poll on the Facebook group for the podcast today asking what everybody's looking forward to most. And uh, it's kind of interesting to see all the comments on that. That was pretty. He was 200 by coming down there. He goes like, we were just kind of tucked up in some like little like ruts on the levee I from I can't, I like guess I'm little water too far and I can't see where the water just kind of wears it down. This is a decent hide. Daniel and I just cover each other. I do need to get better at following the birds down after I shoot them with that shot cam, but I'm always looking for that next shot. Two hens, one drake. Got to be careful now. I can only shoot drake mallards. But uh, I'm so happy, man. I'm so happy. Finally shooting ducks. First big ducks of the year, really. And uh, I'm happy. I said I was going to be happy if I shot one big duck. And that happened. Thank you for the cold front. Thank you for the nice birds. I'm having a good time, Josh. Are you? Why is that? Just really enjoying myself because the birds are working decent. It's it's doing good, I'd say. Feeling the flow. Feeling the flow. Feeling the flow. <laughs> what a nice place. I think that first group came in here because, I mean, we got a good spread, we got open water, but adding, I noticed a difference in their behavior. They were just kind of fic, finicky working around, and I started pulling that motion ducks. And that decoy spreader, just, man. The motion ducks. Man. It makes a difference having that kind of motion in your spread. So uh, if you want to save some money, I actually have a link and a, um, a discount code in the description. So check that out if you're interested in the motion ducks. That was a good lead on that. So he goes, I, I hit him with that first one. Woo! Oh, that shot came only picked up the second shot. Okay. Why those two? It was like they knew the, they knew our game or something. I know. They, you had them. I was like, oh, they're either gonna do it. And then they came over and it was like, they either picked us out, on, maybe picked the dog out on the levee. I don't know. Because those two mallards were eating it, and I looked over and, like, and then they'd bug out. They bugged out, and then this one came through, and I'm I like, looked up, and then I looked back down, and I'm like, oh! And you were leaning up. I was like, I was going to yell at you, but you were on it. No, but freaking. Did Ernie two. find that? I don't know what he's done over there. So, fun fact Ernie, his dad yeah. is also Cora's dad. So, fun fact. Stacking him up. We got a green wing. That brings me up to four birds for today. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. This is so fun. I, I've missed this. 
This is like the type of hunt I've been dreaming about for the past like two weeks. I'm so happy to be out. Oh, it's a great day. Seems like things have been pretty slow, but we might have another group coming through. Also, how do you guys like the shot cam video? I'm I'm really excited to take a look at it. Oh, shoot. Dude, I was about to take a shot on those. He's kind of going down. Seems like a lot of birds were just bombing us. Real low, just tell. coming in real low. It was a teal for sure. We're packing up after this hunt. It didn't necessarily go quite as planned. I mean, we didn't limit out, but we des definitely had some good shooting opportunities. That's I good, ended huh? With three mallards, which is always a plus. And then a little green wing, coal shot, a spoonie, a blue wing, and two mallards. So we ended with eight birds total. Really not a bad day of hunting. That's a good I day. I think we did a lot of our. I think we got a lot of decoying birds because of our motion and our spread. Um, it's a no wind day and that motion just, it's really important. So find a way to put motion into your decoys. So that motion was the key for yeah. sure. Motion was key. And I think I noticed on the first, the big group of mallards that decoyed, they were kind of eyeballing us. But once I started hitting that jerk rig, they just dumped. So I'm sold on I've that. seen it happen so many times. You're working birds. You can call them all you want. They don't give a crap. But once your decoys start I think, moving, I think that's definitely true. game changer. They just totally look at it different and want to get in there because the decoys are moving so much. Video. I'm really pumped to go and look at it. I haven't seen but I think we're going to cut this video here. Thanks for tuning into this one. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought. And uh, if you're looking for a Kansas hunt, uh, I talked to Cole, actually. Uh, went went fishing with him over the weekend. Um He's got openings with uh, F5 Outfitters, I think, in January and February for geese. So if you're looking to get on some goose hunts, go ahead and give Cole a call at F5 Outfitters. But um, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next video.